Have you been sold the myth that home ownership is the pinnacle of success? Well, what if I told you buying a home could turn out to be one of the worst investments you ever make? Yep, you heard that right. In this video, we'll uncover the truth and explore what really lies behind the concept of the American dream. Why? Because it's high time we question whether owning a house is truly the path to financial success or just a detour into financial strain. So, buckle up my financially curious friends. We're about to embark on a myth-busting journey that'll challenge everything you thought you knew about buying a house. And who knows, by the end, you might just thank your lucky stars you pressed play. Welcome to Blue Chip Mindset, the winning mindset for success. If you enjoy the video or learn something new, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. The Myth of Home Ownership Once upon a time, owning a home was more than just a milestone. It was the ultimate badge of success. It's woven into the very fabric of the American dream. You know that dream where you have 2.5 kids, a dog, and yes, a house for the white picket fence. But let's pause and zoom out for a second. Where did this dream come from, and who's selling it? This dream wasn't just plucked from thin air. It's been marinated in history seasoned by society and served up on a silver platter by generations who believe that home ownership equals financial stability. But let's get real. In today's world, does owning a home truly mean you've made it, or have we all been sipping a little too much of the Kool-Aid? Digging into the numbers, the homeownership rate in the U.S. hovers around 65%, but when we peel back the layers, we find a mixed bag of joy, tears, and financial fears. For some, a home is a nest egg, growing plump and juicy over time. For others, it's a financial nightmare, weighing them down with a hefty mortgage and the ever-looming threat of foreclosure. It's time to ask the harder questions. Is homeownership the cornerstone of financial success, or is it a relic of a bygone era polished and presented with a modern bow? As we dive deeper, remember that the goal here isn't to trash the dream, but to question the package it comes in. Because when it comes to achieving financial freedom, knowledge is your secret weapon. The financial reality of buying a house. Okay, so you're thinking, owning a house has to be a solid investment, right? Well, let's unpack that suitcase of assumptions and take a good look at what's inside. Buying a house isn't just handing over a chunk of change for a set of keys. It's more like signing up for a lifetime of expenses that never ends. First off, there's the down payment, which could be thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars of cash that could have been chilling in your investment account instead. Then we roll into the world of mortgage interest, which can sometimes mean you'll pay back the bank twice what your house was initially worth. But there's more to consider. Property taxes, maintenance, and unexpected upgrades can all add to the cost of homeownership. Then those sudden costly repairs, like replacing roofs, malfunctioning water heaters, and broken furnaces, can unexpectedly hit your finances hard. When considering the long-term cost of buying a home, weigh the potential benefits of alternative investments such as putting your down payment into a business, stocks, or if you like to live on the wild side, even cryptocurrencies. This raises an important question. Does homeownership provide the financial advantage we traditionally expected or is it like playing a risky game of financial Jenga fraught with the risk of collapse? Upon closer examination, the allure of owning a home may be rooted more in emotional satisfaction than in tangible financial rewards. The market's uncertainty. Now let's take a whirlwind tour through the ever-turbulent world of the housing market. Fasten your seatbelts, folks, because if there's one thing that's certain about the housing market, it's its uncertainty. This isn't just a mild roller coaster. It's an extreme ride you never signed up for, complete with unexpected twists and turns that can leave your financial stability hanging by a thread. Historically, we've seen housing markets reach dizzying heights, only to crash down spectacularly. The 2008 financial crisis serves as a stark reminder of how quickly fortunes can change. Home equity, often seen as the bedrock of personal wealth, can dissipate with alarming speed, plunging homeowners into a financial quagmire where they owe more on their mortgage than their property is worth. But my home will appreciate over time, you might say. And you could be right, but it's far from a guarantee. Real estate markets vary wildly from one region to another, and what goes up in one area might stagnate in another. It's a game of real estate roulette, and the house doesn't always win. This unpredictability isn't just an academic concern. It has real-world consequences for homeowners. It can mean being stuck in a home you can't sell, in a job you want to leave, or in a city you're itching to escape. The dream of homeownership can quickly morph into a trap locking you into a cycle of uncertainty and stress. So, before you put all your financial eggs in the real estate basket, keep in mind the market can grant wealth as easily as it can retract it. And when it comes to making one of the biggest financial decisions of your life, a little caution could save you a lot of heartache down the road. The Illusion of Control Entering the realm of homeownership is like becoming the captain of your ship, ready to chart the course through the waters of owning property convinced you're fully in command. But in reality, these waters can be unpredictable and dangerous, showing that sometimes control is just an illusion. 
First, let's talk about the external forces at play. Zoning laws, for instance, can change the landscape of your neighborhood in ways you might not like but have little power to oppose. They dictate everything from the color of your mailbox to the exact number of days you're allowed to display holiday decorations, transforming your dream of independence into a neighborhood decision. The market, an unruly beast, isn't swayed by homeowners. Economic shifts, overbuilding of new homes, job market changes, and buyer preferences can all influence your home's value, often unpredictably. The lack of liquidity in real estate starkly contrasts with stocks or bonds, which can be sold within minutes. Selling a house takes time, potentially spanning months or even years, thereby limiting financial flexibility. This illusion of control over homeownership often goes unacknowledged until it's too late. It's not merely about personalizing your space, it's understanding external factors restrict decision-making. Alternatives to homeownership So, if buying a house isn't the financial jackpot we've been led to believe, what alternatives do we have beyond living in our mom's dusty basement? Let me give you an alternative option, one that may trigger some people. But before I share that, please take a second to tap that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now let's zoom in on a standout option that might have yet to get its fair share of the spotlight. Renting. Yep, renting. It's not just a default choice for those biding their time until homeownership. It's a lifestyle decision with its own set of perks. Consider the liberty of life without a mortgage. Renting lets you move on a whim, be it for a job, love, or just a scenery change without the hassle of selling or market worries. The perks extend beyond mobility. Enjoy living without the dread of maintenance costs. Roof leaks, air conditioner fails, that's on the landlord, not your bank account. This not only offers convenience but also financial prudence, preserving your savings for emergencies or investments. Another advantage, no property taxes. Homeowners often see a chunk of their finances absorbed by taxes, whereas renters enjoy fixed monthly costs, inclusive of all charges. Renting transcends being merely an alternative to buying. It represents a financially sound, flexible lifestyle. In today's mobile and uncertain economic landscape, renting shines as a smart choice for some. The rent versus buy debate is more than a financial comparison, it's about choosing a lifestyle that suits your needs and goals. Whether it's the freedom and simplicity of renting or the long-term investment of homeownership, the key is making an informed decision that reflects your priorities. I'm curious to hear from you. How do you view the rent versus buy debate? Do you lean more towards the flexibility of renting or the potential investment of buying? Drop a comment below and let me know. A balanced view. All right, let's take a step back and breathe. We've unpacked a lot about the myths and realities of homeownership, and it might seem like I'm totally against buying a house. But hold up, that's not entirely the case. There's a time, a place, and indeed, a set of circumstances where buying a home can be the right move. Owning a home isn't just a financial decision, it's a personal one. For many, a home is more than an asset, it's a sanctuary. It's where memories are made, families grow, and a sense of community can flourish. These emotional and psychological benefits are real and valuable. They just don't show up on a balance sheet. Moreover, for those who crave stability, buying a home can provide a sense of permanence and control over one's living environment that renting might not. And yes, a home can appreciate in value under the right conditions, providing a solid return on investment. The key is going into homeownership with eyes wide open. Understand the true costs from the mortgage to maintenance. Recognize the risks like market volatility and the potential for unexpected expenses. And most importantly, buy a home because it's right for you, not because society says it's the next checkbox to tick off on the road to adulthood. So before you sign on the dotted line, consider all your options. Maybe renting and investing the difference suits your lifestyle better. Perhaps a real estate investment that's not a primary residence is more up your alley. Whatever path you choose, make sure it aligns with your financial goals, risk tolerance, and life plans. In the end, homeownership can be a part of your financial strategy, but it shouldn't dominate it entirely. Diversification is key, whether in assets, investments, or life experiences. So weigh the pros and cons, think long-term, and remember, the best investment is the one that helps you sleep at night, knowing you've made the choice that's right for you. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, please like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications.